nossa razão da esperança. Jesus. What do you know, folks? Mm. All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, rest in peace, First Lady. You will be missed. I'm gonna start saying that because that makes me feel better. Uh, where my keys at? Oh, I'm getting sidetracked. So anyway, so today's lesson is today is uh, we're going to go to Tennessee Tractor. And I want to go and check on the combine. Because I don't know if it's ready. Uh, so it's like today we're supposed to be getting uh, severe weather, bad storm or whatever. Whatever the case may be. Uh, I know y'all asking yourself, D-Way, what are you doing in Tennessee Tractor? Well, I'm going to check on the combine, plus I need to go to the one in Trenton to check on, not check on, to go pick up a part. And the part is for the header, and which is I have not seen across the, across the uh, channel. Nobody's talking about them, but today, I'm gonna be the one that's talking about them. And I still got this gray hair right here. I, well, you know, you're getting old, you accumulating gray hairs. So, I'm in my wife's vehicle right now. This is the Traverse. Uh, uh, I use this just for business purposes. Uh, family, go out and just ride and drive and all like that. So, uh, uh, I talked to a few people uh, the other day, and I want to, you know, address a few things to let people know. Everybody is worried about me. It's just hold on. Everybody is worried about me, and I just want to, you know, just set the record straight and let everybody know that I am fine. I'm okay. Uh, I'm a lot busier than what I am. Uh, my schedule is a little bit twisted and messed up, so I'm trying to, uh, I'm, I'm a lot busier than what I, than I was before, so what I mean by scheduling and timing wise, that, let me put my seatbelt on, because I know y'all going to be talking about me, like, this seatbelt, um, man. How long? Because I want to set an example. Ah, there we go. I want to set an example when I'm driving. I always wear your seatbelt. Safety first. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, the kids are fine. It's just basically, you know, the timing is messed up with me. Uh, you know, majority of the family members, they work. I, I, you know, I'm trying to figure some stuff out, trying to see which direction that I'm gonna go. And uh, what are the plans for 2025, which is, I don't know, cause I'm unsure of what 2024 is gonna be like. Meaning, you know, what are you saying? Well, 2024, I done got hit pretty hard. Yeah, everybody's the same way now. It, yeah, that's true, but me, I got hit and run over and crushed and broken uh, in 2024. 
And it starts with, you know, by the passing the first lady. And then when, you know, all the cookies start crumbling down on you, it's just, I, it's just that I never forget August 1st, 2024 at 11 a.m. And really the whole month of August of 2024, I will never forget those days. And, you know, I'm not just sitting up here making these excuses myself, but I'm sitting up here and I'm telling you guys uh, what's going on. And I'm vlogging it just to show you my side of the story of what my life is all about. And what is it like after, after the situation that happened? Not only just the situation that happened, it's just basically you got drought going going crazy and then not only drought going crazy but you also have uh, the market is going down the sales are, are going down uh, people are not buying nothing this year uh, truth be told um, I will say this much uh, before uh, my wife had passed, we was actually buying another tractor. And we was in the middle of buying another tractor. And not just her, because she didn't have nothing to do with it, but, but she suggested it. Uh, <laughs> she was like, wow, well, you don't get that kind of tractor. Why not get this one? Uh, why not look at this one? What's the difference between both two? So now she's asking questions. So now she. Just making it seem like she's interested in this thing. Seems like I got a leak right here somewhere. Uh, probably coming from somewhere else. But anyway, the tractor that we was actually that I was actually finna buy uh, was the it was the ninety five. 60 R. Uh, I mean, not the 9560 R. It was the, the uh, was the 9220. That was the one I was gonna buy. The 9220. The 9220 R. That was a wiggle tail, and made by John Deere. Those y'all don't know your tractors, uh, know your farm equipment. But anyway, <clears throat> so uh, and then I had. Uh, Got, I financed two trailers and two trucks. So in the midst where all this is going on, I had to stop payments on a lot of things. And I, then, cause you know, it's, I had a few bills that was coming in. I had one that was just longer than a train smoke that I had to deal with. And it's, but you know, I'm saying this, you know, you ain't you need to sit down somewhere and you need to stop buying stuff. No, it ain't that. Uh it's not that. See, when people go to talking like that, they go thinking of thinking of the wrong stuff. Thinking that that I can't do this and I can't do that. No, don't worry about that. Uh, pay attention to the channel, just watch me move. But see now. Uh, times done change. Now I can't move like I really want to. So I know can't means you won't. So I, I try my best not to say that. Uh, can't is not a word in my in my vocabulary. But y'all get what I'm saying. Uh, instead of me just saying I can't move around, it's just I haven't figured it out yet. Because uh, I got to squeeze the farming in, and then I got to squeeze. Uh, my online jobs in, and then her job in, and then the advertising the uh, job in. Then uh, I still have to finish up the uh, endorsement with. Uh, I don't know if I can say that right now because I don't. Wait, what the fuck was you talking about? What? 
Yeah, my wife was in the middle of an endorsement right now with a farm equipment company. And now I have to take the place. And it's, it's, it's nerve wracking because I got a lot of moving around to do. And that's one of the main reasons I have not been, you know, putting out any videos, but I'm actually vlogging on a daily basis, but I have not had any time to edit any video, like edit anything. So I'm trying my best to put it out. I'm, I'm trying my best. It's just, it's just nerve wracking right now. And, uh, you know, but I still give honor to the most high. I still put all my pain and suffering in his hands and let him deal with it. Uh, I'm calm right now uh, because I have other stuff on my mind right now that I'm trying to figure out. And, you know, it's just, it's just rough. And some people, you know, that I spoke with, some folks that I spoke with the day before yesterday, you know, kind of had me thinking. And he was like, well, does it seem like that you have to uh, change your mind and, and farming and then just go trucking? And I see what that person is doing. He's, he's trying to help me out, but I'm like, no, no, that won't work. Uh, uh, that won't work. Cause the simple fact, I got a lot invested in all this farm equipment and all and the land itself. And as far as the trucking wise, you know, you can't always put all your eggs in one basket. Because as of right now, the, on the truck side, um, it's shut down as of right now. And, you know, due to the market, the, and that's one of them, then the river is low. A lot of farmers uh, are holding on to their grain, sending it to the grain bins. So it goes back to what I said a couple, couple of channels back. When I said, uh, what, is my, what is my job contains of? My job contains of uh, uh, you guys, which are farmers. When, you, when the combine goes out and harvest, and y'all send your grains to the grain bins, we'll come out, which is Tyson Hollers, we'll come out on an operator, we'll come out and we'll take that grain that you sold and we'll take it up north or down south or you know, either way, it's just whatever they tell us tell us to go to. But now, today, in today's era, uh, since the market is crashing, and you got this recession going on, and then you got this pointless election uh, that ain't gonna never get right. But hey, it is what it is, man. It's that's what caused for us to shut down. So now the rates ain't where it's supposed to be. Oh. So, I'm fine. I'm sitting, man. I done talked to y'all from the house all the way down here to Tennessee Tractor. So I'm down here at Tennessee Tractor right now. And I'm gonna see if we come back now. Come back, still out there. So I don't even have a clue of what's going on here. Just riding, looking at all this green paint. All this green paint. So, you ways you finna buy something else? Nah, I'm not. I think, I believe, just to be honest with you, this is by far what I'm thinking about is buying some more. Hey, there's a little case. Yeah, come out and do it over here. Actually, that's the one, that's the come out I seen that I was playing around with. And here we go. Oh, she's still here. So apparently she is not ready. I go by your 770. Uh, 
Uh, I really need it at this point. Let me back up so y'all can see it. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's, it's, it's a lot going on with me right now. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just dealing with it at this point. So there she go, y'all. I know the combine. So, I can tell it hadn't been moved, so. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going looking at all these combines here, man. That's, see what I'm saying? 9560. Hmm. Look at that. That's the one that came out of, out of Martin. 9560. Hmm. Here I am buying a hit series and just on t nine, ten dollar bands. <laughs> Y'all, hopefully, it'll get better next year. You know what I'm saying? Ninety-eight, seven eighty, seven eighty, seven eighty. Oh, nine artists sitting over there. number three right here and number three is right there and number one 8420 is right here and my other track is right there oh Jesus boy I really missed it I really missed that track too. But, yeah, it's all good. But, you know, I always shout out to Tennessee Tractor. So, in this video, I'm not going to edit anything. I'm just going to, you know, just sit and talk, talk about it. Uh, so, now I'm going to the other Tennessee Tractor. And... Trenton. So I can go and pick up that piece. So that's, you know, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, you know, it's a headache for me as of right now. You know, when you being when you farming by yourself, and I can't really just say I'm farming by myself because, you know, I got my brother involved, so he's now in the picture now, helping me. So, well, let me cut some of that lighting out. There we go. So, when you farm, farming by yourself, I'm not necessarily farming by myself. Uh, it just makes him like that's what I'm doing. Uh, you know, if the thing is what about my people, everybody has jobs. And not only we just farm, we actually we actually have jobs. And we have stuff that offset just farming. Uh, you know, just pick cotton or you know, uh, run a combine or tear up the ground and then go home. No, it's more to the story to that. Uh, we have 
jobs. And they're just like, if this right here doesn't work out, we still have a job. And that's the same thing uh, that I have when I drive trucks. Trucks pays for everything. Trucks is very fun. And, uh, and the state where I'm in right now, you know, I kind of have to watch what I'm doing. And, you know, there's a certain number that, uh, that I spend and not go under. So I kind of raise the bar real high with that. So uh, it's kind of like when you drive a truck or people ask me, how much money do you have to have the truck up? Well, you got to have at least $10,000 in your account in order to keep a truck running or a trailer. Because you never know what, you know, parts are high on a truck. You got your, dis uh, your displays, you got trucks out here with drums, displays, and brakes. That right there can run, you know, five to $600 easily just for a drum. Or you got a clutch pack that went out, that's $1,000. And that's heavy, and that's if you transmission, you got tires, you mean, you got all the maintenance and all this other stuff that you got to worry about. So, um, when people say, when I say you gotta have to lose about ten thousand dollars in your account, so me on on the other hand, I always double it. I always twenty thousand dollars in your account. I don't go. I always add to it, but I never go under it. So uh, it's just an example. So I never go under it. That's just for the LLC side, the truck side. And you know, it's it's everything will be okay, everything will be alright, everything is fine. You know, it's just a big part out about it. I'm still down and in some places, uh, I'm not grieving. You know, I like I like to talk about that. Uh, grieving. I don't grieve because of what's going on and what has happened. Uh, I grieve because of what the kids are going through and what they have to go through at an early age. Me on my behalf, I get it. I understand. You know, all of us got numbers on us on our heads. We don't know when are we coming or we going. So I totally get it and I understand that. So that's that's not something for me to just be just up and worry about because I get it. So I can't just beat myself up over that. Uh, am I upset? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Uh, would I ever understand that? No. Um, you know, I'm just more worried about the kids than anything. And other than just myself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I just want to, you know, want to use this video just to ride along and talk and, you know, have a good conversation with you guys and just to show y'all, you know, what's going on. I'm coming off the head with all this stuff. That, there's a lot of things I want to talk to y'all about. And a lot of things are personal, and, and it just probably get down to this point to talk about personal stuff, and because I'm that comfortable with y'all, because I know a lot of y'all gonna say, yeah, you ain't gotta throw your personal issues out there. I'm like, well, okay, look at it. This is the learning channel. I don't mind. I mean, everybody has to understand what a person goes through. I don't know what you go through. How am I supposed to know anything about you if you don't tell me or if you don't inform somebody? So that's a, a form of communication for me. So now we're learning about each other. So that's why I say I want to take this channel to a whole other level. You know, just, just learning, man. I don't, I don't care how personal it is. I still tell it because you never know you could be affected on down the road. So well, some of y'all is probably affected on it right now. Well, we would never know, not let somebody say something. 
but uh, I just, you know, I want to do this channel just, just, uh, just educational purposes. Just to show what is it that I can do. This is how I do it. This is how I try to maintain things. This is how, I, you know, you know, just get out and have fun, man. It's, it's not all because of how much stuff I bought or whatever the case may be. I wish I could just give people to stop looking at that side of the story and start looking at the fun side of it. Like, you know, just always just having fun, man. You know, you can't take none of that stuff with you when you're gone. So, just get out and have fun, man. What if you know something about it or if you know a little bit about it or you don't know anything about it? Just have fun with it. I mean, you know you can do it. You got pride in to do it. And, and just have fun, man. I would make my channel so unique, man, because I'm totally different from everybody. Uh, I don't want to say that I'm perfect because I'm not. It's just I do stuff totally different. And a lot of things, and y'all, you guys said it, a lot of things that, uh, that y'all seen, uh, y'all said that, uh, you know, a lot of people don't even do what I do. And, and I try to give everybody the best content I can. I try to push further than what I can. But, you know, when you got this going on, it's, yeah. It can hurt you sometimes. Sure can hurt you. Back way to go down here. <sighs> Nine. Tennessee tractor training. Let's take that over here. I know what y'all thinking. Again, I'm not out here to buy stuff. <laughs> I know how y'all are, but I do want to look at a header. Just saying, not look at a header to buy it, but just looking at how the hookups are made. I do want to take a couple pictures of it. Uh, one back here. Oh, my favorite cotton picker. 99.96. That was a little bad. If I had something, only if I had something for it to do. Right, let's see. See what it is? It's that piece right there. Give me a second, let me take some pictures of this. Yeah, those are a different type of heads. More like a, that's a Hydroflex. That's a coin here. That's all the headers they got over here. I'm scared. The reason why I'm scared of how much it's gonna cost. I mean, even though it's green paint, I really don't want to. I really don't want to fool with that. So you gotta get ready to go in. <laughs> Dang. 
Let me go ahead and bite this apple, y'all. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. I really don't want to do this, but I'm going.